channel if you guys are new what's up I'm Shelly welcome to my channel so a few days ago I was able to go to the hourglass vanish airbrush concealer launch party and they were so kind enough to gift us a nice goodie bag full of their amazing products including the airbrushed the vanish airbrush concealer so today I figured because this product is new it just launched I'm gonna go ahead and review it here on my channel to tell you guys is it or is it not worth it I'm gonna be covering the claims that Hourglass has for this concealer. I will be doing a demo of applying it to my skin, and then I will give you guys a full review. But of course, before we get into that, if you guys haven't done so already, and if you are new to this channel, click subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any more of my reviews and videos. And I guess with all of that said, let's go ahead and see if this is worth it. So the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer, this is their newest liquid concealer. It just came out, they just launched it, and according to the benefits that they have online, this is a weightless liquid concealer that lasts up to 16 hours. You guys know me and you know every time I say this, but don't wear your makeup for 16 hours. Take it off, it's not good for your skin that long. If you need to wear it for 16 hours, I guess I guess it lasts 16 hours, but don't, just, just don't imparts an undetectable and natural finish, helps to provide crease-proof coverage to disguise dark circles and pigmentation, naturally brightens the complexion, and is available in 22 shades. Things that I really like about the claims that they have here is that number one, it's weightless because I hate when my foundation or concealer feels really thick and really heavy and it's not breathable. Another thing I love is that they say it's undetectable skin-like with a natural finish because of course, just like you don't want to feel your foundation or concealer, you don't really want people to see that you're wearing a layer of foundation and concealer on your face. You want it to look like your skin like the whole point of this is to make it look like your skin but just correcting the flaws that your skin has so the vanish hourglass concealer retails on sephora nordstrom's macy's anywhere you can find hourglass cosmetics it retails for 34 dollars now that's a little bit pricey for concealers of this type for comparison shape tape is around 27 dollars if you purchase it from nordstrom's macy's sephora bleh, wherever you can get shape tape it's 27 dollars so this one is $34, which is $7 more expensive. It's kind of a big difference. So next thing, this product has two point fluid ounces of product in the bottle compared to something like Shape Tape. Shape Tape has 0.33 fluid ounces. So Hourglass, you're gonna be paying a little bit more money and getting a little bit less product. But I have to say, I've heard nothing but amazing things about Hourglass. So I, I'm really hoping that this, that this is amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and test the Vanish Concealer by plugging it into my regular foundation routine. I'm also gonna go ahead and plug in two other Hourglass products that they gifted to me at the event. So I'm gonna be using the Veil Translucent Setting Powder as well as the Veil Mineral Primer. As for foundation, I'm gonna be using my favorite foundation of all time, my go-to, my number one. That is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. If you guys wanna see my review on this, I will link it in a card up above or in the description box down below so you guys can check that out. All right, so let's go ahead and just jump right into it and start putting things on my face. So right now, I have nothing on my face. I've, I've done my eyes and my eyebrows just for the sake of looking cute, but my face is completely clean of all makeup products. I put a little bit of moisturizer on it like an hour ago, so it's had time to set. So it's really just a clean face right now. So I'm gonna start by applying the Veil Mineral Primer from Hourglass. So I'm gonna do about just one pump, looks like that amount, and I'm just gonna spread this all over my face. Okay, so this primer feels really velvety and smooth. I think it's gonna make blending out foundation and concealers on the skin super easy and just nice. You guys, I really love how this is making my skin feel. Like I almost just like want to wear this primer by itself on days because my skin feels so smooth. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my Estee Lauder Double Wear and then we will come back and see exactly how this concealer applies. 
Okay, so I have my foundation on. My skin tone is looking a lot more even as you guys can see. And now we get to go and test out the Vanish Concealer and see exactly how it applies. So for those of you wondering, I got color matched in the color Apricot. This is what the makeup artist at the launch party matched me with. And I actually think it's a pretty good color match for my skin tone and as far as the color that I like for underneath my eyes. So this here is what the bottle looks like as you guys can see. I think it's really pretty. I love the frosted glass. I'm really loving this metallic chocolate handle. So the makeup artist at the launch party also mentioned to me that this is highly pigmented so they suggest only dotting it underneath the eye and then blending it out using a dense buffer brush like something like this. I'm using this Estee Lauder dense um, buffing brush so I'm gonna go ahead and dot this under one eye and blend it out using this. I typically would use a pointy edge like this on a beauty sponge but I'm gonna do what the makeup artist told me to do and see how the product works. Okay, so first impression, the actual product is pretty thin. The viscosity of it is really thin and liquidy, which I like because that really is going to be more lightweight than if it was something a little bit thicker. Um, let's go ahead and put it on and see how it feels. So I'm going to go ahead and just do this and do a few dots on the area that I want to blend it out. I love it when a little bit goes a long way because that means that the product is actually gonna last longer for you. Let's go ahead and blend this out just like they did at the party. Okay, so I have to say that I am, I'm impressed. I'm pretty impressed here. So you saw the little amount of product that I put underneath my eye. And as you guys can see, I'm hoping you can see what I'm seeing. Just a little bit of product went a really long way. This eye is much more brightened. It's a lot more awake looking than this eye, but it didn't take a lot. Looking at it close up in my handheld mirror, it doesn't look caked on or anything. It doesn't look like I've added an extra layer of makeup on and it doesn't feel sticky. I know that one thing that the makeup artist also mentioned is that it dries down into almost like a powder finish. He said it doesn't need to be set, but I'm gonna go ahead and set mine because I need to set my foundation anyway. But from just this first impression, he did a really good color matching me, but it also just looks super natural. It feels very lightweight. It doesn't feel like anything is on my skin. And it took a little tiny bit of product and it went so far so i am just very impressed with it i'm gonna go ahead and finish this eye and then we'll go ahead and talk about it a little bit more okay so i don't know if you guys can see this but i am just very impressed with it i think it did a really good job brightening up my under eyes and using so little product the other thing i want to mention is it was so easy to blend out. I know with some concealers, I have a little bit of a difficult time blending out the edge over my cheekbone to make it look natural. And this just wasn't the case with Hourglass. It really, with a brush, it's not streaky. It blended out very well and it blends into my foundation super great. So it just looks like this even one layer of skin, really. My face just looks pretty natural. It feels very lightweight, it looks really good. And I guess the last thing that we have to test is its wearability, but as far as application and coverage, I think that it applies great. It covers well. I actually wanna test its buildability for you guys because I know some of you guys do put on maybe a little bit more, so I wanna see if maybe it'll cake. I doubt it, I'm hoping it doesn't, but let's go ahead and see. Okay, so I definitely think that it is buildable. It, as you can see, added a little bit more pigment, but it didn't make it look cakey or anything like that. I wouldn't recommend going more than two layers of this product. I think that just a little bit of it really does go a long way. You're not gonna need a whole lot. So one to two layers will be perfect for most coverages, I think, especially if you're using a color corrector or something like that. But yeah, you guys, I am, Ooh, I'm just really impressed with this concealer right now. So now I'm gonna go ahead and set my face using the Veil Translucent Setting Powder by Hourglass. I have never used this product before, so I am excited to try it. This is what the packaging looks like, your standard loose setting powder. Hourglass has this really pretty like gold dome bowl thing for their setting powder, which I think is super cute.
So I'm gonna go ahead and use this much powder to set my face. I might go ahead and pick up a little bit more if I need to, but right now that's how much I'm using. And I'm just going to kind of press it across my face. And you guys, this translucent setting powder is so velvety smooth. My skin feels so great. So I'm gonna pick up just a little bit more because that was good for one and a half cheeks. So I'm really loving that the translucent powder is truly translucent. I know that some other products will say translucent, but it gives you a little bit of a foggy look over your foundations and concealers. But right now this is looking like it's keeping my foundation and concealer pretty true to color. But I also love that it's just so smooth. Like it really sets that liquid product and just makes your face feel like velvet. I'm, I'm just, okay. I literally cannot get over how soft my face is. This powder is amazing. I mean, I know this is a review for the concealer, but I am, I'm just, I'm really happy right now. I'm really happy right now. Wow, Hourglass, your products are just blowing my mind. You guys, like, I don't wanna stop touching my face, but we need to move on. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish off my makeup and I will be right back. Okay, so I finished off my makeup. I have a little bit of bronzer and a little bit of blush on. I also finished it off with a gloss. And overall, this concealer and the translucent setting powder, I think just really makes my face look a little bit like Facetune. Honestly, I'm very impressed with these products. Up close and personal, my face just looks good. It just looks good. I am. Okay, so final thought on the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer. Is it worth it? Is it not? What do I rate it? Okay, so first of all, 10 out of 10 would recommend. I know you're getting a little bit less product. I know it's a little bit more expensive, but here's the thing. You're using less product, so it's gonna last just as long, if not longer. Second of all, the price might be a little bit more, but the quality is, it's just un. Beatable. Like, I don't want to compare it to Shape Tape, but I'm going to compare it to Shape Tape just because Shape Tape has been an industry standard for so long now. And I personally think that it's better than Shape Tape. Overall, I think I'm just very impressed with Hourglass products in general. I've never tried their products before, and their translucent setting powder is amazing. Their concealer is so great. The primer made my skin feel so smooth, and their packaging is just so cool it's so cute it's just you know what two thumbs up for hourglass i am very impressed i am i'm just so i i'm just so impressed like i'm just so happy right now that i got to try these products i really i mean you guys look at my face <laughs> like look at my face okay so i think it's an obvious yes that i totally recommend the vanish airbrush concealer if you guys want to see any of the hourglass products that i used in this video or received in my gift bag i will link them in the description box down below so you guys can check them out purchase them for yourself if you guys want to see any more of my review videos i will have them linked in a card somewhere up above so you guys can check that out and if you guys haven't done so already do me a favor, click subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss any more of my reviews or videos. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you much, thank you much. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And of course, just like always, until next time, bye guys.